G'day YouTube, JB from Oz. Just thought I'd give you a quick introduction onto what my earthworks out here is all about. Uh, it's a permaculture swale and the positioning of the swale on this particular property is on my boundary and it starts at the lowest point of my longest boundary. Um, that's particularly a key point swale that we look for in permaculture design. So above my property, I've got roughly 55,000 square meters of catchment. It's all this kind of clay, sandy, hard dirt, which is about 80 or 90% uh, runoff rather than soaking in. So what I've done as my very first effort here, earthworks on the property, is just build a very slight berm in on the road. What that does is it captures the water that comes down the gutter and just feeds it into this top swale. Now swale is a soft earth mound on contour. You can see that's pretty soft, it's not compacted. It's pretty cheap earthworks as far as preparation. And this effort here has taken probably two days worth of effort. So this now sets in place our first tree planting opportunity. So anytime it rains, 55,000 square meters of catchment above us, should fill this particular catchment. Now it's a, a catchment, not a drain. The idea is not to flow the water in a particular direction, is to hold it on this contour. This being on my longest boundary and highest up in my block. As we walk through, essentially the level of this is set by two factors. One is the height of the wall, the second is the height of the overflow, such that at this particular point I've cut a groove through so that any water that reaches this point, which is lower than the rest of that wall, will slowly overflow down this particular road. There's a slight berm here, which will keep that water coming down this particular pathway, capturing anything above us on the right through that bush. How are we going all the way through? And slowly capturing. Half oh, second. That's awesome. Which will feed water from that catchment right the way down to this point here. How's it going, mate? Good. Good, good. We're just walking the swale, aren't we? And at this point here, that slight ridge falls away. The water that was previously just running down the gutter alongside the road and missing my property altogether then feeds into the top of my paddock here. So from that point, we have a water source where previously there was none and eventually it ends up in the dam right down the very bottom there. So once you start putting water here, there's obviously a possibility of an erosion event here. So you then feed that into your next swale, which would continue on through and catch water down, probably down to 10, 15 meters down the hill and uh, continue from there. But there you go. Swales are nice and cheap in terms of earthworks because they're not compacted. They don't have to perform like a dam. As I say, a couple of days with a machine, I've been able to get this one put through. You should be able to see from here, the subtlety of the level, that <coughs> hill is below the catchment on the road. It's only a very slightly amount below. It's probably five centimeters below, but that's enough to catch all that road runoff and feed it through. That section is 50 meters by say three meters wide, which is the width of the blade, 150 meters. That plus a meter deep, let's say 150 cubic meters. So there's be 150,000 liters of water held on that swale every time we have a rain event of any significance. That's a significant amount of water that will then feed those trees by soaking into the ground, not flowing down the hill. And that's really the amazing job that that swale is going to do for us. 
Thanks for watching.